with that, I'm going to introduce uh, a couple folks who are joining us. Uh, Buddy Marucci, obviously, to my, to my left, really needs very little introduction. Uh, Buddy is a two-time member of the Walker Cup team. Uh, he was the captain of the U.S. team in 2007, the victorious U.S. team, uh, and returns uh, as captain again this year. Uh, Buddy is our reigning USGA senior amateur champion who will not be defending his title this year because of a conflict with the, with the Walker Cup next weekend. Uh, and it's always an honor and a privilege, privilege to have Buddy here to join us. And we are also joined by two of the U.S. team members uh, on the telephone who will be available uh, for questions that you might have. Uh, Ricky Fowler is joining us on the phone. Ricky is 20 years old from Murrieta, California. Uh, this is his second consecutive Walker Cup team selection. He was three and one in his matches in 2007 in leading the USGA, the USA to a one point victory over Great Britain and Ireland. He's a two time first team All American, finished third at both the 2009 NCAA Division I Championship and the 2009 Santa Hanna Amateur. Soon to be junior at Oklahoma State University, uh, he also advanced to the third round of match play at this year's US Amateur Public Links. Also with us on the phone is Brian Harmon. Brian is 22 from Savannah, Georgia. Brian is also playing in his second Walker Cup team, and he was 2-0-1 last time around in 2005. Uh, Brian is a 2003 U.S. Junior Amateur Champion, was a 2009 second team All-American selection, and he recently won the Dogwood Invitational and was runner-up at the Santa Ana Amateur. Uh, and with that, maybe I'll turn it over to Buddy uh, for a couple comments, and we can go to the floor for some questions. Thank you, uh, Rand. Um, interesting to hear Jay reflect on that uh, that 1960 uh, Eisenhower Trophy uh, World Amateur Team because I'm sure Jay and I didn't know each other back then, but I was I lived across the street and was up in the top of the pine tree uh, on the top of the eighth green in the pouring rain watching that, and I say this in all sincerity that I think uh, my impressions of that event uh, affected me and have affected me to this day. I, I don't think I ever dreamed that I would be in this capacity uh, forgetting ever being a captain and I certainly never dreamed that I'd be able to compete in something such as that. And uh, So for me it's kind of overwhelming uh, not only to be sitting in front of you as the captain but to be doing it at Marion. It's, uh, it's, it's actually beyond words but We'll get past that. Um, I think the last six months has been uh, an extraordinary time for me. Um, we had a wonderful experience in Ireland the last time, but you know, once the matches conclude, um, I was fortunate enough to get picked to do it again, and, and the work starts all over. It starts anew, and uh, with a new cast of characters and young men and uh, some men amateurs that you're trying to evaluate, and I think that. Jay might agree, but uh, but I think the selection process is the most difficult part of this responsibility. Uh, it's difficult because at this particular time we have so many candidates that are worthy of uh, being selected, and to get down to ten is is really a challenge. Uh, our team this year is extraordinary in talent, uh, tremendous chemistry between them, which is very important to me and I know will represent the country uh, in an immaculate manner, which uh, when you get down to the bottom of it is really why these matches are played. So uh, I'm very, very excited about them and you know, we're obviously looking forward to the next two weeks. Uh, in preparation, uh, we'll, be at, we'll be going to Caves Valley in Baltimore on Thursday evening and we'll play Friday, Saturday and Sunday uh, down there. We'll come up here on Sunday afternoon and start our preparation here next Monday. Uh, I think the most important thing that uh, I bring away from this experience has just been the ability to get to know these young men and their families as well as I have. Uh, I can't overemphasize how important and how much that has meant to me to be able to, to get involved in their lives. And, uh, you know, we have a very big challenge ahead of us because the team from Great Britain and Ireland is captained by a wonderful gentleman in Colin Dogleash. He did it before. Uh, his his team will be very well prepared. Uh, they will be uh, 
very well mannered and I know that they will play this golf course very well so we've got a lot of work ahead of us but at the end of the day uh, I'm excited and enthused, enthused about our, our team and uh, and I think we're going to perform well so with that being said uh, maybe we can uh, get some questions or anything you'd like to know about the uh, individuals or the or what we're going to be facing.